The challenges that we are facing in our business currently are dependent on whichever region that we're in. For example, the Italian business over the last few years has uh, faced the European economic uh, turmoil and turbulence, particularly within the Ital Italian domestic market. However, that now is, uh, coming, is uh, recovering and coming back to where we expect it. However, in Asia, there is, it's, a different, uh, it's a different question totally. In Asia, the world is your oyster. Expansion in Asia is key to most hotel companies due to many different factors, cost of labor, the ease of sourcing labor, the trainability of labor, and of course, the emerging markets that we have here in Asia. Uh, China, 50% of all flight arrivals into Phuket Airport come from China, for example. This means that the Chinese market will have a massive impact on our new hotel in Phuket, Thailand. Uh, the Asiana region, uh, now a bit like the Shenagan, are dropping borders. So you will get many travelers here in Asia coming, going, weekend breaks, last minute breaks. And of course, the Middle Eastern business still remains strong and still grows at an incredible growth rate. The travel trade uh, business is still very, very important. As much as OTAs are taking over and account for up to 30% of some hotel companies' business, I strongly believe and we strongly believe that by forging direct relationships with connections, Travel Trade Weekly, uh, it is key to reach the right buyers who represent lux luxury niche markets. We continue to strive with our distribution via online, social media, but they're still, today, it is important face-to-face. -face. It's a people's business. People must be involved.